Come on, get in, lads and lasses. Welcome back to 100% Mags. Newcastle pick up our second win of the season in a game that is absolutely unbelievable against Leeds United down at Elland Road. Uh, we went into this game sitting in 19th place. Uh, Norwich, of course, picking up the win yesterday against Wofford, uh, which of course, knocked Norwich into 17th place with 16 points. We were going into this game with only 12 points in the bag. We're coming out of this game now with only a point away from escaping this relegation zone battle that we have found ourselves in. And, you know, you've got to appreciate the performance that the lads put in tonight down at Elm Road. Absolutely amazing. Great performance by Newcastle. Uh, they fought every second of that game. Uh, they put in a hell of a fight down there against Bazalzi's men. And of course, on the 75th minute, it all came to bear the fruits of Eddie Howe's labours at the club. And of course, we managed to come out with a goal in the game on the 75th minute after a really amazing run by Javier Manquillo which of course found him breaking his way right the way through the Leeds team until of course he was taken down on the edge of the box and it looked like it was going to be Kieran Trippier to take it but of course John Joe Shelby was also over it. Trippier walked away and it just left John Joe Shelby to step up to the uh, podium if it, you will and smack that thing into the back of the net and it was just reminiscent in my eyes of the goal that you know Jacob Murphy scored against uh, Wolves when he just found it around Rui Patricio and of course John Joe Shelby just beautiful little curl on it around the Leeds goalkeeper and into the back of the net and as I say, the rest is history. You know, <laughs> we've got another win in the bag, lads and lasses. We've got another win in the bag. Uh, 17 games left. We've got 15 points. Like I say, we're one point away from uh, getting out of this relegation zone battle that we're currently finding ourselves in. Of course, Burnley uh, do have games in hand. Uh, we have games in hand as well. So does Norwich. So does Wofford. You know, but we're going on a break now for... A little while with that winter break. So the players will be going out to Saudi Arabia. Uh, where they'll be doing a bit of warm weather training. Also meeting some of the fans out in Saudi Arabia. It's only right at the end of the day that the fans out in Saudi Arabia do get to see the team as well. As it is their team. Uh, you know, uh, Saudi Arabia have bought this team as a way of, you know, having something is their crown jewel, if you will, of the 2030 vision uh, in trying to push ahead and modernise their country. And, uh, you know, Newcastle's heading over there. We're going to be doing some warm weather training over there. We're going to be playing a match over there as well, which is good for us because that means more and more uh, money in the FFP coffers uh, for what to put in on transfers, which... Is fair play at the end of the day. Everybody does it. Um, so, you know, it's just amazing to... I just can't find the words. It's how happy I am that we've actually picked up the second win of the season. Um, and in a game, you know, against Leeds United, which a lot of people were saying that was going to be a very tough game. I said it was going to be a very tough game. Uh, but Leeds did have quite a few of their first team as out with injuries. Um, so, you know, like to say, and like I've said quite a few times already in this video, the rest is history. You know, Newcastle's picked up the win. That is what it is. Uh, and we'll move on to, of course, the next game, uh, which when we come back, you know, we're going to have to take on... Um, Everton on the 8th of February so you know that will be a home game uh, against Everton it would have been against Rafa's Everton but unfortunately he has been given the sack uh, and of course they 
you know, played today as well. Everton, they played against Aston Villa. They were the early kickoff, and of course, Aston Villa come away from that game, one no winner. So, who knows? We might be able to go into that game against an Everton side that, at this moment in time, uh, are not looking the best uh, in form wise. You know, they're not looking uh, too great. Uh, they're 16th in the league. They've got 19 points out of uh, 20 games, but of course, we'll talk about that in the preview. Uh, for the Everton game when that game does come around. But anyway, make sure uh, that you all hit the like button. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel as well as I'm trying to hit that 1K subscriber milestone by the 12th of May this year uh, on the 5th anniversary of the channel on YouTube. And also uh, make sure to stay safe and take care out there, lads and lasses. Until next time, come on the marks.